almost lunchtime, so it's almost afternoon. The kids are finishing up their schoolwork. I'm about to clean out the refrigerator real quick. Well, not really clean it out, just straighten it up. I'm not gonna do an extreme wipe down, but I do wanna get it straightened up. Before I go get groceries, I have my pickup order scheduled this afternoon. So I wanna get it straightened up. That way when I get home, it'll be easy just to put them in the refrigerator real quick. And I'll be very thankful to myself that I did it. Here is the before. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the spaghetti bake leftovers because I'm sure somebody will have that for lunch. I have these two rotisserie chickens in here. When I get home, these will be coming out because I'm gonna go ahead and make the chicken pot pies after I get the groceries put away. If you missed yesterday's video, I got these to make some chicken pot pies for supper tonight. I got them from Ingles and I just stuck them in here. So not much really needs to be done on that shelf right now, but these need some help. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are back. I'm gonna show y'all the haul real quick. This is not a really big one. I did a small Ingalls grocery haul yesterday too, so if you didn't see that video, I'll link it down below. Here's what I got from Walmart, and after I show y'all the grocery haul and get it put away, I'm gonna show you the menu for the week. Let's start on this side, shake things up a little bit. We have chicken, ground beef. I got the pizzas that I need for the pizza contest, so now I have all five that we need for this Friday. If you haven't been following along, we are searching for the best frozen pizza of the ones we can find at our stores anyway. I know there are like lots of frozen pizzas, but you can't find all of them everywhere, so the ones we could find from Walmart and Ingles, we tried all of them. It's lasted five weeks. We have the top five that we're gonna be trying this Friday, and we're gonna pick the ultimate winner. The three that I got from Walmart are Tombstone, Motor City Pizza Company. I'm gonna go ahead and say, I think this is gonna be the winner, but we'll see, I could be wrong. And Great Value Rising Crust. The other two, if you wanna see those contestants, come back Friday. We got those from Ingalls yesterday. <laughs> okay, I got two cases of the Lime LaCroix this week because other people are starting to drink it with me and it's getting gone too fast. <laughs> so I got two cases back there. I just have some trash bags. I have some of the Tyson grilled and ready chicken, some chicken strips, two bags of the country fried steaks, two boxes of the pepperoni and cheese, great value, little pot pocket things. I got a ham because on Sunday, I'm thinking it's gonna be on Sunday. We may be cooking out on Saturday, but we're definitely gonna have a ham this weekend sometime. We have bacon. I got these bigger pepperoni slices because the kids, y'all know they love pepperoni. I just wanted to change it up a little bit instead of the regular pepperoni that we get when we do pepperoni wraps or like the little homemade Lunchables. I got this kind and some bread I'll show y'all in a minute and we're gonna do like pepperoni sandwiches. I got some more of these sausage patties, some seasoned potato wedges, frozen sweet peas, two cans of Bush's brown sugar hickory baked beans. Jonah's back here looking at the cereal boxes. We have Frosted Flakes and Honey O's. Which one of these is your favorite, Jonah? Which one would you pick? Frosted Flakes. I like Frosted Flakes too. I really like those Honey O's. They're kind of hard, like they start hurting my teeth though after I eat a couple of bowls of them. Like not in one sitting, a couple of bowls, but anyway. <laughs> Townhouse crackers, barbecue sauce, ranch dressing. I'm gonna make a jello poke cake for this weekend when we have our big dinner. So I got that with the strawberry. I knew I, knew I had jello and vanilla pudding, but I just went ahead and got a couple extra boxes. Two big cans of Allen's Italian green beans, some chicken broth, two packs of this uh, gravy mix. Y'all know I normally always make homemade gravy anytime we make gravy biscuits or stuff like that. But I'm gonna be making this gravy for something in the meal plan that I actually can't remember right now. We'll see it in just a minute. <laughs> and since it's going with supper, I didn't wanna have to fry up any sausage or bacon or anything to make gravy, so I just got these packs, and they're pretty good. Maybe not as good as homemade, but good when you wanna make gravy fast. Okay, I got some brown sugar, chocolate chip cookie dough. Tonight we're having the chicken pot pies, I already told y'all. I was gonna do the homemade crust, and I still may, I don't know, I'm thinking about it, but I got this for myself just in case I was like, it'd be nice to have ready-to-bake pie crusts, so there we go. I'm probably gonna be using these ready-to-bake pie crusts. 
I got two boxes because we're making two chicken pot pies. Look, that's what they made too. And let's see, we have mozzarella cheese. That's to go with the pepperoni sandwiches. And I got some of the kids' favorite string cheese. And look, Charlie Brown and all is on there. And Snoopy, well, that's not Charlie, but anyway. I'm sure he's on there somewhere. Yeah, Donna <laughs> wants to see. Those are so cute. We got some peppers, cucumbers. Did I already say the brown sugar? Cantaloupe, celery, kiwi, uh, baby spinach, lemons. And then we got some of these buns are so good, y'all. So good. Got another pack of those. We got some Pepperidge Farm Swirl French Toast Bread. One morning we're gonna be having French toast for breakfast and I was hoping that they still had the strawberry. Y'all know around Valentine's Day and all they have the strawberry kind, but our Walmart didn't have any, so I just got the regular French toast kind. One loaf of bread. This is the bread that I was telling y'all about. Jonah and Aldra really like the kind that I got from Aldi, which I was gonna go to Aldi this week actually, but I ended up going to Walmart instead because I had to get uh, Tyler's water flosser. Is it in here? He must have already taken it in there, but anyway. I needed to get a water flosser and stuff for him anyway. A few other things the kids needed like socks and all. So I was just like, I'll get everything from Walmart this week and maybe we'll do Aldi next week. Anyway, they love that bread from Aldi, the little thin sandwich bread thing. So I got this this week and we're gonna do pepperoni sandwiches with this. Probably spinach, kind of like we do the wraps. Pepperoni, cheese, and spinach probably on there. I just said spinach. Funny, spinach, well, I sounded like Popeye the Sailor Man. There's our cheese again. We have some flour tortillas, three gallons of milk. We still have a good bit of yogurt in the refrigerator. So this week I just got two of the key lime whips and two orange cream whips, some butter, sour cream, and heavy whipping cream. Did I miss anything? Oh yeah, slaw mix, tomatoes, and then these little tomatoes here. I think that's it. All right, so here's this week's menu for breakfast. They're not in order, I tell y'all this every time, but yeah, the days are, you know, may get mixed up. For breakfast, we're gonna have cereal and fruit one day, French toast, sausage and eggs, blueberry bagels with fruit, and probably sausage or bacon on that day too, omelets, grits, and toast, another cereal and fruit day, pancakes with bacon, and gravy biscuits and eggs. That will probably be on Saturday. And then for lunch, I didn't plan every single lunch day. We have sandwich and chips. I didn't put anything down for that day. That's probably just uh, where the kids will find whatever they want that day. And then we have pot pies or hot pockets, noodles with vegetables and yogurt, pepperoni sandwiches, Big Mac snack wraps. We didn't get those in last week, so we'll have those one day this week. And then I didn't put anything there. For supper, we have the chicken pot pies, ham, potatoes, beans. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be on Sunday. Then we have the baked spaghetti night. Y'all saw that yesterday. Grilled chicken sandwiches or chicken strips. I'm gonna do, this is what I needed the gravy for. Tyler's up there saying chicken strips. This is what I needed the gravy for. It's gonna be like a copycat Dairy Queen chicken strip basket. So we're gonna have chicken strips, but I'm probably gonna have a grilled chicken sandwich that night. So whoever wants what on that night, but we're gonna have french fries with the gravy and all that to copy the Dairy Queen chicken strip basket. And then on another night, we're gonna have zesty barbecue chicken sandwiches with potato wedges that's a slow cooker meal so i put sc there so that i can remember when i look at the meal plan in the mornings to see what we're going to be having that night i know i need to start that early then of course pizza and salad night and then on saturday i put a question mark because i'm not sure we may be grilling out that day and then for snacks i have the jello poke cake over here i'll probably make that on saturday we're going to have it on sunday with our ham big Sunday dinner. Uh, so the Jello poke cake, that'll last a couple of days. The peanut butter bread, I already made that yesterday too. There's only, I think we already ate it all now, it's gone. The kids finished that off today. Uh, string cheese and yogurts, crackers with cheese and yogurt one day, and then fruit and yogurt. And I didn't put anything there, whatever the kids wanna find for a snack that day. Okay, so now we're gonna put all of this stuff up. The kids are all done with their schoolwork, so I'm thinking Manly's down for his nap right now. He's starting to be able to put his own self to sleep. I think it was yesterday, he just laid down and went to sleep like all by his little self. It was so cute, but it also makes me sad because then it's like he doesn't need me to rock him to sleep anymore. <laughs> Aldra did that forever. Like I rocked her to sleep, of course, when she was really little, but when she got older, she would put her own self to sleep. I would just go put her in her baby bed. She would lay down and go to sleep for naps and at bedtime. I'm gonna get the groceries put away and I was gonna go ahead and start the chicken pot pies, but it's still kind of early. I think I'll wait about another hour or two. I definitely wanna go outside today. It is a beautiful day. It's like 64, no clouds in the sky, a slight breeze from the east. Just kidding, I don't know where the breeze is coming from, but it's beautiful out there. <laughs> All 
All right, y'all, we're gonna get these chicken pot pies started. The first thing we need to do is shred both of these rotisserie chickens. Hiya! Y'all didn't know I knew karate, huh? <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna take the chicken and just put it in a bowl over here to the side. Cece's getting my pie plates out for me. It's chicken pot pie. Uh, close, is that close? No. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the iron skillet onto medium and we're gonna put half a stick of butter in here. Actually, I'm sorry, I'm doubling this recipe. I have to remind myself. If you're only making one, you only need half the stick, but if you're making two, then you need the whole stick. So I'm gonna just chop this up into smaller butter blocks. We're gonna put them over here. Okay, while the butter is melting, we're gonna chop up an onion, carrots, celery, and garlic. So now we're just gonna let these vegetables keep cooking for about five or seven more minutes until they start getting tender. And then we'll add in the other stuff. This is kind of reminding me of my chicken and dumplings recipe that we love. So I think these are gonna be really good chicken pot pies. Oh, I need to go ahead and preheat the oven. The recipe says 400, but I'm gonna do 375 because my oven sometimes at 400, it like overcooks stuff sometimes. So I'm going with 375. I forgot we're also going to need some parsley, so I'm going to go ahead and chop this up. Are you calling Sissy? Say, come here, Sissy. Oh, you want to see that? <gasps> what is that? I love to hear him say Sissy. It sounds like he says Gigi, but it is so cute. When I want him to say it, though, he won't say it. He just says it every now and then. He'll just yell out Gigi. Oh, I forgot to cut this carrot. <gasps> <laughs> She's trying to get him to say it now, and he's just saying bye-bye to her. Okay, y'all, the vegetables are really tender. We're gonna go ahead and start adding our other stuff. We're gonna put in some all-purpose flour. Like I said, I'll have the full recipe down below for y'all. We're gonna go ahead and put the parsley in there. We're gonna put in some heavy cream. Now we're putting in some chicken broth. Oh, that's looking pretty, okay. Now we're just gonna put in some salt and pepper, and this is gonna come to a simmer, and when it starts to thicken, then it's ready to add the chicken in. We got the chicken mixed in. Now we're ready to put these into the pie shells, put the tops on. And I am gonna put some foil around the edges so my edges don't get too brown. And we're gonna bake these for about 45 minutes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them on the same rack, but in about 20 minutes, I'm gonna rotate them and switch sides. That way the pie crust will bake evenly. I almost forgot to put the frozen peas in. We have to put those in.
Okay, we were back inside. I went outside with Jonah and Audra a little bit so they could play. All the guys were up at the horses. Here's Big Dad in now. You smell that chicken pot pie? I do. They've been out for a little bit cooling. I'm about to make some corn on the cob to go with them. We also still have a little bit of this um, baked spaghetti from last night left over. Got that out again if anybody wants that. Tyler ate some for lunch. You can go with Mama to get the corn. You want to get the corn? Hey. Say, I have fun outside, Bye -bye. huh? Bye-bye. I knocked something over and he said, uh-oh. kitchen clean kids are getting ready for bed now I'm about to give mainly his bath but first I'm gonna set up Tyler's water flosser here it's rechargeable so you don't need any batteries that's good oh it says you have to charge it for 24 hours before use so we'll charge it tonight and he'll be able to start using it tomorrow I'm gonna keep this down here because you know people will be tempted to um, maybe act like this is a water gun or something instead of a water flosser so Tyler will come in here to clean his appliance every day we're gonna fill this up with water that's it, I guess. Now we just let it charge for 24 hours. That feels like at the dentist office, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, people say these things work really good. Y'all let me know if you've ever used a water flosser. It says on here, I think it said it was 50%, up to 50% more effective for improving gum health versus string floss. There we go. I forgot to tell y'all about the chicken pot pie. So I wrapped up the leftovers in there. There's a little more than half of one leftover. Best chicken pot pie I've ever had in my life. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even a big chicken pot pie fan, but it is good. I mean, it's right up there with that recipe for chicken and dumplings that we make. It's amazing. More checkers going down in here tonight. No. We're going through another checkers phase where it goes down every night. Is that funny? Tyler tries to keep all these spots right here blocked so his opponent cannot be crowned king. Cece and Manly are doing their nightly game of hide and seek. Here he comes, here he comes. Go, go, Manny, go. 